Hi, this is Hadass Ramak in Canva, and I'd like to introduce all the new Droptober features. Everything that Canva has just shared with us for October 2024. Are you ready? The list is long. Here we go. The first thing I would like to show you, and it's not necessarily my number one, but bear with me because I have a lot of exciting news. I want to introduce the new animations. Let's say, for example, I have this presentation, I have this juice bottle, I'm just going to go up to animate and you will find the featured option. Under featured, you will find the brush animation, the ink, the digital spray paint, sketch and gradient. You can also click on any of these animations and and have them animated on exit, on enter or both or even set their style. But you would need a pro account for the style option. Now the next one is, again, under animations, I've opened this video, this Instagram post video. I'm going to click again on animate and under featured, you will find here page animations and under page animations, you have new options to animate all of the elements and objects that you have on this specific design. So you can click on simple and see how everything is beautifully animated. You have slick, fun, party, corporate, and chill. Play around with it. See what it does. Time is money. Whiteboards is now AI powered and you can say goodbye to manually organizing your sticky notes. You can sort it now by topic, by color, by name, and by reactions, sort will arrange your sticky notes based on all of these in a single click. Let me show you. Head over to the white bar, click on sort, choose my reactions. And there you see, I have all my reactions on one side and all the rest on the other side. So this is good for brainstorming, for teamwork. The next thing I'd like to talk about is interactive charts. You can turn your data into interactive easy to understand visuals with the new chart library. Now there are even more types of charts that you can choose from, including the radar. Let me show you the radar. So this interactive chart allows you to enter all of your data inside your table. And then once you present your graph, you can just hover with your mouse cursor on any of these parts and see all the data and, and see all your numbers makes your presentation much more engaging. Now this new one is one of my favorites and it has to do with mockups. So anyone who knows me knows how much I love using mockups in my designs. Now the new thing is that you can use any uploaded photo or, or any photo from the Canva library to create a mockup. One thing to note at the moment, this works on free images only or your uploaded files. So let's say, for example, I'm using this photo of myself. All I have to do is click on it, head up here to edit, click on that, then scroll down to apps, click on mockups, and then you can find the custom mockups. Do notice that this is a pro feature. Therefore, you need to have Canva Pro. So let's click on create your own mockup. And now Canva is going to give me four options. Okay, there we have it. I'm going to go with my, let's say my jacket. Let's click on that mock-up. And now let's say I want my jacket to be leopard pattern. And oh my God, oh, I have a leopard jacket. Now I want to show you something else. Now this is kind of an inside story. As a Canva verified expert, I had the opportunity and the privilege to try this out before it was launched to everyone in the world. I used this photo to try out this mock-up feature and accidentally or not accidentally, what happened was that besides the t-shirt and the denim, I also had the option to create a mock-up on her arms. Now I decided to take it a step forward and decided to tattoo her. So as the mock-up team said, I just discovered a whole new world of mock-ups. Let me show you how that's done. So I'm clicking on the photo, edit, mock-ups, create your own mock-up. And there it is again. See, I'm just going to click on the one that has her arms as the mock-up space. And now I'm just going to head over to elements and search for tattoo. I'm going to use this really scary one. 
I'm just going to drag and drop it on her arm. Oh my God. This looks so realistic. I love it. Okay, the next feature that I want to show you, I would like to introduce to you the Artlist Collection. These are stock music and videos that make your design cinematic. So what you have to do is just head over to Elements, type in Artlist, just use the at before you type in Artlist, and then you'll get the full collection. You can also sub-search here, which means that you can add another word after the word Artlist. Forest. So I, I tried forest and I just want to show you what it looks like. So you get very high quality cinematic looking videos. More to choose from. More dilemmas. I'm just joking. The more the merrier. Another library that has been added to Canva is the Poxduck. The Poxduck collection champion diversity and design with inclusive stock media libraries so you can make your teams feel seen heard followers can feel more connected to your brand the next one is are you ready disney yay the disney collection so now you can access canvas disney template collection and team up with a band of all your loved characters to add a lot of charm and magic to your creations few things to notice. These are templates only. You cannot use this as elements or solo objects. Just head over to this link. You can scan this QR code or just type in this URL address. So inside these collections, you have Mickey and Friends, you have Frozen Collection, Disney Princesses, you need a pro account to use these. So here again is my free one month of Canva Pro. You're welcome to scan it. And this is what I did with this Disney trivia. I created this Hadas Canva design. The next thing I would like to introduce, and this is a huge drum roll, the Dream Lab. To access Dream Lab, just head over to the home screen, go to the sidebar and click on Dream Lab. These are images created with AI that you can easily, quickly, and beautifully generate with Leonardo. Just describe the image in a few words. This works in multiple languages, not English only. All you have to do is type in your prompt, choose the style, the aspect ratio. You can also add an image as a reference and then just hit create. You will get four beautifully generated images to choose from. You can download them, copy them, or start to edit them in the Canva editor. One more thing is that Canva has added to the apps the option to search for Google's workspace. So you can connect your Canva account with Google Ads and Google Photos, Google Drive, makes everything much simpler, all in a one-stop shop. Just to make this really big announcement towards the end, I would like to share with you one more thing that will be announced, but still cannot be found in Canva. So you'll have to patiently wait. And here it is. Please welcome captions, not your regular captions, but captions that you can edit within Canva. These are big announcements and there is more to come. So I'm just giving you a tease on this and make sure to follow me and subscribe to my channel for a hands-on tutorial once this is out. I remind you that you can get a one month free of Canva Pro using my QR code. Follow me on Instagram, Hadassah Vidal Goldin, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.